today we're going to start with two coats of a gold nail polish and this is golden by Revlon top speed nail polish and after that's completely dry and you do want to make sure it is completely dry um, just take a piece of tape and you see there I pressed it onto the back of my hand and that's just to uh, take some of the stickiness out of the tape because what we really need from the tape is just a guide for a straight line we don't necessarily need it to be super sticky just that it's going to stay in place and you want to place it about halfway down the nail not all the way um, or not completely halfway but close and you're going to repeat this process on all five nails and we're going to take uh, wet and wild wild shine nail polish in Metallica and just paint the tips of the nails and like I said the tapes just going to give us a very straight edge and make it look very clean and neat and just give it a nice coat so you're only going to need one coat because um, you're going to have a couple of steps here so the more polish you put on the longer drying time you have the longer the manicure takes so just put a nice even coat that uh, will give you coverage because we're only going to end up with a thin silver stripe when we're done so it doesn't need to be a very very thick coat and now I'm going to take sinful colors uh, the color is sugar sugar and here you could just take your tape and just move it to give yourself another straight edge but I've done this enough so now that I've got a straight edge for a guide um, I can I can keep my tip color fairly straight um, but if you wanted to like I said you could just move the tape and uh, give yourself another straight edge for doing the tips and for this manicure um, I varied the color the thumb the middle finger and the pinky or in red and then uh, my forefinger and ring finger are going to be in green and the green I used is San Francisco by Sinful Colors it's just a nice uh, deep jewel tone green and just repeat the process just paint the tip I say keeping it very straight and even and again giving yourself um, a thick enough coat to make the color opaque because um, there again if you have to go in with a second coat you know you're just adding more drying time and you're going to make the polish on the tip of the nail quite quite thick so if you can get a thick enough coat the first time to make it opaque, then that's probably the best application. And it's going to give you the best look. And on the other hand, I just did the opposite. And now I'm going to take these fashion stickers from Broadway. They're called Diva Fashion uh, Nail Stickers. And I'm just taking these little rhinestone looking ones. And I found it helps to get them off the paper if you bend the corner. Um, and kind of expose the edge of the sticker. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. But uh, you can see here when it, I take them off the paper, it pulls three up at a time, which is great. It makes it just that much easier to place them. So I place those three across the middle and then um, one more on each side of the nail so that I have five across all the nails except the pinky, which only has three. I'm going to show you one more time. Just pulled three of them up. It's just three little rhinestone looking stickers. They're flat on the back and just slightly raised on the top. And I just add an extra little sparkle and bling to the look. And as usual, just go in with your favorite top coat. And you do want to make the top coat fairly thick um, to make sure those little stickers adhere fairly well. And if you use a quick drying one, um, you should be able to get through your manicure fairly quickly. And here's the finished product. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Bye now.